Hey, what's up? My name is Mike Sieber, Certified Personal Trainer and Holistic Health Coach. And in this video, I want to take the time to tell you a little bit about my own health history, the foods I believe you're going to need to cut out if you want to achieve your weight loss goals and that a lot of successful and have really healthy fitness professionals and other people have had to cut out to achieve their health and weight loss goals. And back when I was growing up, I grew up on heavily processed foods. Everything I ate was frozen, pre-packaged. I drank a lot of soda and sugary drinks. Um, every morning it was a bagel, I ate a lot of breads, pastas, fried foods, sugary foods, packaged foods, and I really got no real deep nutrition. I had very little, you know, grass-fed beef. I didn't have healthy fats such as coconut oil, avocados in high quantities. I ate a decent bit of vegetables, but not a ton. And everything I ate was processed. I used to eat, you know, a ton of, ton of sweets, Oreos, cookies. I used to drink milk because I thought the protein in it would help me build muscle. But all these processed foods left me without any real nutrition. My gut was inflamed. I had I developed an autoimmune condition. And my brain felt horrible. I felt super depressed, anxious. I would get um, severe crippling anxiety attacks. I was weak. I wasn't building muscle properly. And I just had a whole host of issues. And my brain was haywire and all over the place. Once I um, went on my health journey and tried a bunch of extreme diets and went vegan and did all this other crazy stuff, I kind of found that it really comes down to eating real food. But to get to that point, you have to cut out the processed foods. And when I tell people what they have to cut out, they often get shocked because they act like it's so hard to cut out these processed foods because they're everywhere in our society. And that's really not, it shouldn't be that hard to cut out fake food without your entire life getting turned upside down or inconveniencing you. So that's just a symptom of how sick our society is. And with one third of people being diabetic or pre-diabetic, obesity rates skyrocketing right around one third as well, uh, two thirds of Americans are overweight, we have a health crisis. So the norm is not normal. We need to change from being this sick society reliant on heavily processed industrial manufactured foods and switch back to real foods, more to an ancestral or a paleo diet, if you will, is a good example of kind of the, the approach that I advocate for. So the foods you're gonna to have to give up are one, you have to give up gluten and refined flour and grains. Uh, they're designed to be addictive, that's why it's added into every processed foods. They put gluten and wheat flour in salad dressing, they put it in meats. Um, obviously your pastas and breads when you go out to eat, uh, starting your day off with a muffin, donut, or bagel is probably about the worst way you can start your day off because there's no real nutrition in this food. It's heavily processed with chemicals and chemically treated, it's oxidized. A lot of times it's genetically modified grains that produce more rapidly and don't have a lot of the same nutritional values as the older heirloom grains you'd find in places like Italy and France and stuff like that. So you have to cut out gluten and processed flour if you're suffering from any sort of irritable bowel type of syndrome, inflammatory issues, depression, anxiety, you have to rule out that it's not coming from gluten or processed flour. If we look at the book, Nutrition and Physical Generation by Dr. Weston A. Price. So the book, Nutrition and Physical Generation by Dr. Weston A. Price right here, was written in the 1930s and he showed pictures of tribes of people such as Eskimos, uh, Fiji Islanders, all around the world that had perfect health. And once they started eating flour and sugar, processed flour and sugar, within one generation they had deformed bodies and all sorts of health issues and kind of like what I was talking about with myself and so many others, what we're seeing today is that society is really sick because we're all relying on these processed foods and this was proven uh, nearly a hundred years ago at this point. So there's really no point debating this. If you you're gonna take your health seriously and your fitness seriously, you have to cut out processed flour. Another thing that's really insidious about processed flour is that when we eat it by itself, when we eat bread or muffins or donuts, there's really no vitamins, minerals, healthy fats, healthy proteins. So it does give us a quick burst of energy and, and researchers have shown this actually has opiate-like properties in the grain that make you addicted to it. So at first, you might get an emotional reaction to this video or me saying you have to cut out these things and just dismiss it as, oh, I'm a hippie, I'm an extreme person whatever, but really that could just be a potential addiction that you're afraid to confront because these foods are very addictive and that's why these these big food companies know to put them in everything because they know that if they put sugar and flour and grains into foods, it's gonna increase your appetite, it's gonna make you consume more of their crappy food products. Instead of switching to real foods, they're gonna satiate you and fill you up. So again, the way that works is 
you're gonna eat something that's heavy in carbohydrates, such as sugar or processed flour. It has little to no minerals or vitamins. Your body gets satiation and fullness signals based on vitamin and mineral content in food as well, as well as proteins and fats. Proteins, fats, and these vitamins and minerals, and even complex sugars help us have sustainable energy for hours and hours to come. But if we eat something processed like sugar or muffins, or flour, it, within a very short amount of time we're going to get a blood sugar crash and we're going to be reaching for more sugars and carbohydrates. And this is the process that leads to inflammation and becoming fat and diabetic. So you really don't want that, you have to cut out processed flour. So the other thing that, um, personally I'm a sugar addict, I have a sweet tooth, I'm always looking for chocolate, fruit, cake, uh, sweets of any kind, I'm a sugar addict so I have to keep that craving at bay. And really sugar is just highly, highly addictive. If we look at it from an evolutionary perspective, really the only sugar we would be eating is in season fruits, maybe we'd find honey once in a while. So our brains are actually designed to binge eat sugar. And that's what these big food companies know is that if they put just the right amount of sugar, they actually do studies to find just the right amount of sugar and they do research to see just how much won't turn you off and be too much and then just how much they get away with to give you that perfect craving for the sugar and that addictive response. Again, it's neurochemically going to mess up your brain, it's going to cause inflammation if we eat too much sugar. Fruit is ideal, you know, certain vegetables are ideal, we don't want to have tons of honey, um, white sugar, you know, try not to add it to your coffee, things like that. These are easy ways to cut out the excess sugar. Again, processed sugar is chemically treated, it's stripped of all its vitamins and minerals, and it doesn't give you a satiation response. And specifically what's horrible is high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup was released in the 1970s and right about that time the obesity rate started skyrocketing. High fructose corn syrup is, is the most poisonous form of sugar you can possibly consume which is why I highly recommend you cut out sodas and soft drinks or anything that has high fructose corn syrup in it. And it's insidious and it's in everything that's processed. The next thing you need to cut out is processed dairy. Dairy has been sold to us as the only source of protein and calcium for years and it's just not true. The dairy industry wants you to believe that but you really can get calcium from a million other sources, you can get protein from a million other sources and the problem with our dairy industry in the United States is that if it's not grass fed, they're pumping these cows full of steroids, and hormones and antibiotics and in a study from Harvard by Dr. Ganma she analyzed countries that have an uh, industrial dairy industry and found that 60 to 80 percent of their hormones in their body that they're getting from their diet are coming from dairy and these hormones are all cancer promoting prostate cancer breast cancer they cause hard tumors that are estrogen and hormone based so we want to avoid processed dairy we want to avoid industrial commercialized dairy products especially personally i uh, consume a lot of grass-fed butter grass-fed ghee these, these fats don't disagree with me and again I get them from higher quality grass fed sources so there's not, they're not pumped full of hormones and antibiotics. And for people who would defend dairy I would say this, I would say it's very inflammatory. If you cut it out you'll notice well, you typically within a couple of weeks a minimum of at least a few pounds at minimum and sometimes it's even way more dramatic than that. You may start detoxing uh, clear mucus once you cut out dairy because it's very mucusy and it lodges in the body. And especially for women, and all, but also for men, it is disastrous to have all of those hormones and excess hormones in the body. We do really don't want that. And if you just think about the dairy industry, a, a giant thousand pound cow that's sick and pumped full of hormones and antibiotics and steroids, it's pretty disgusting. And we really want to avoid that. And you'll find that a lot of people are lactose intolerant, dairy intolerant. So if you're going to consume dairy, at least stick with fresh. Uh, grass-fed sources, organic, the highest quality you can. But in general, for the, at least for the first couple months, uh, you know, trying to lose weight on your health journey, you're going to want to cut out dairy, especially. And the last thing I want to touch on really quick, and I talk about this a bunch, is you got to eat healthy fats: coconut oil, olive oil, avocados, grass-fed butter, meats, fish, egg yolks or from organic sources, and you got to cut out the hydrogenated and processed vegetable oils. The corn, the canola, the soy, all of these things we were told were heart healthy forever are actually gunking up your arteries, they're causing inflammation. If we eat too many omega-6 fatty acids and not enough omega-3s, we actually promote inflammation in the brain and in the body and most people 
a lot of their fat intake or their primary source of fat intake is actually coming from these vegetable oils. If you're eating fried foods at restaurants, you're eating commercial salad dressings, if you're cooking with these oils, they're garbage, they're junk, you gotta get rid of them. They're gonna gunk up your arteries, they're gonna cause inflammation. You gotta start eating healthier omega-3s, seafood, egg yolks, uh, animal fats from healthy, free-range and organic sources, coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, nuts and seeds. These are much healthier brain healthy fats. Cut out the corn, canola, and soy. And again, look at any heavily processed food. What you will find, corn, canola, and soy, sometimes all three of them. You'll find sugar, and you'll find gluten and wheat. Sometimes all of those things in one processed product. I'm pretty sure if you check out a box of Oreos, you'll probably find all of that and dairy in there. So again, these are all foods that promote inflammation of the gut. If you end up with a condition like leaky gut syndrome, what that means is your gut wall becomes more permeable than it's meant to be. You're gonna start leaking these foods into your bloodstream. Your body's gonna attack these food particles that are in your bloodstream. What happens when your body attacks itself? You get a giant immune response, you end up with autoimmune disease. When you end up with systemic autoimmune issues, you end up with systemic inflammation. When you end up with systemic inflammation, you end up with a wacky brain, you end up depressed, anxious, irritable you know, just, just all over the place. Energy levels are, are crashing, poor sleep, higher stress levels. That cascades into a vicious cycle. You do that for 10, 15 years and you could very well eat your way into a, a disease that could have very easily been prevented just by following a more natural, organic, whole food based diets. And I talk about this stuff such as stress and leaky gut and inflammation because this is really the foundations of beginning to develop a strong and sexy muscular toned body is cutting out these processed foods. If you want to look good, you have to cut out the junk food and that's what the secret that most people in the fitness industry, supermodels, you know, Gwyneth Paltrow, all these actresses, all these people that are healthy and lean and sexy, they eat very little refined foods and they eat wholesome organic based foods. So again, let me recap this real quick, put it up on the screen. You have to cut out refined flour and sugar, I'm sorry, refined flour and gluten is one. Two is refined sugar and excess sugar in general. Three is all dairy products besides a little, maybe a little bit of grass-fed butter and ghee. Four is gonna be canola, soy, and corn oils. And five is just gonna be anything heavily processed in general that's loaded with chemicals or all of the above, because a lot of foods do have all the above. So again, a lot of people make fun of this and act like it's some hippie thing, but you know, I've seen thousands and thousands of people dramatically improve their health that were getting surgeries, orthopedic surgeries, had inflammation in their joints, had autoimmune diseases, were overweight, bloated, and fat, and they switch, they cut out these foods and switch to a more wholesome, organic-based lifestyle uh, without these processed foods in it, and they never had more energy, they never felt better. And remember, a lot of these foods, because they're heavily processed and they're designed by these companies, they literally have researchers, taste researchers, who figure out how much of this stuff to get you addicted they need to put in. It's addictive. You need to recognize you may have some addictive potentiality when it comes to these foods, and go through the withdrawal process. It's typically just a week or a couple weeks. You may get some headaches, migraines, stomach issues, stuff like that. It's not that hard, but once you cut it out, you will have boundless energy, you have glowing skin, you have a strong, more muscular and toned body. Everything starts from the inside out, regardless of what anyone says. And I don't care what those guys say about it's all about calories in, calories out, they're full of it. You need to cut out inflammatory foods and eat organic, wholesome based foods that the human body was designed to run on. And this is the way you get a strong, healthy and lean body. So thanks for watching, check out the article below and I'll talk to you soon.